Thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of Judges, Judges chapter 3, where verses 1 to 6, we read of how God was going to test his people to prepare them for war against the nations that were around them. Instead, the children of God, the people of God, started to marry these uh, folks from other cultures, their children, giving their children to married people from these different cultures. We also ultimately would pollute them spiritually. And today I wanted to speak about how God tests us, prepares us for war. Now in the New Testament church, us, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 to 18 tells us this. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 to 5 tells us that our weapons are not physical or carnal, but spiritual, tearing down strongholds in Christ Jesus. The Old Testament in this time of Judges and other periods of time in the Old Testament, yes, the people of God were in physical war against other cultures. That is not the case today. We are now more in a spiritual warfare. And we have that great promise in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. But God will test us sometimes to see if we're going to obey him, stay away from cultures in this world, so to speak, that are going to infiltrate our minds and hearts spiritually. We are to be holy people set apart. But yet God will test us. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ himself was tested um, for 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness in Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11. Luke chapter 4 verses 1 to 13. You can read that account there that even Christ himself was tested. God will sometimes test us in our spiritual warfare, our faith, James chapter 1, verses 2 to 4 tells us that to produce virtue in our lives, spiritual fruit, patience, perseverance, character. Sometimes we have to go through diverse trials in life so that we will develop these spiritual characteristics in our lives that we need. We have a promise in the book of Acts chapter 14, verse 22 where the scriptures tell us with many trials and tribulations, we must enter the kingdom of God. Tests are gonna come. Very righteous man in the Old Testament, a man by the name of Job was tested mightily. And sometimes God will send others in our lives to test us. God allowed Satan to test Job in the book of Job to see whether Job would obey the Lord. In the book of Revelation, one of the churches we read in Revelation chapter 2, verse 10, we are told that Satan would throw some of God's children even to prison. God will use either Satan, other people, the world's influence to sometimes test us. Now, God doesn't tempt us to sin, but he will test us. And if we're honest with ourselves, my brothers and sisters, when we go through these tests, we see that we are really weak in and of ourselves. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 18 the Bible tells us that sometimes God will test us so that we will see what's really in our hearts and that we are like animals it says that in the Bible the Bible is the final authority people think that they're good by nature a lot of times you'll hear people say God knows my heart but that's not the answer that's actually the problem Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 tells us that the heart of man is deceitful and desperately wicked Read in Romans chapter 3, verses 9 to 20. Read that and see what's really in your heart, what you are really like by nature. Even our good deeds, we're told in the Bible, in Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6, even our good righteous deeds that we think we are doing are filthy in God's sight in and of themselves. So my friends, let us learn that God will test us to sometimes humble us to see that's what's really in and of ourselves and our own strength draw us closer to him, to depend on him, to rely on him. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 1 to 10, we read of the account of the apostle Paul, who was brought up to the third heaven and saw things that no man had ever seen apart from Christ himself. But what was he given? He wasn't given a crown, he was given a thorn. And three times he asked Jesus Christ to remove that thorn. Christ said, no, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. So sometimes we will go through trials to select God will allow us to see how weak we are in and of ourselves, 
to rely on, to draw closer, and depend on Jesus Christ more in our lives. My friends, I don't know what you're going through today, what trial, what test, God knows. Let God use it to draw you closer to Him. Let God use it to prune you, to correct you, refine you. In Zechariah chapter 13, verse 9, we are told that sometimes even gold would go to a furnace to come out more brighter, to remove the dross, the dullness of it. And sometimes God will bring us through the fire to remove the dullness spiritually in our hearts to make us shine more brighter for Christ. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today. Whatever trial they're going through today, whatever's on their mind, heart, whatever's going on in their bodies, may they draw closer to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, relying on your word and depending on the Holy Spirit. In Christ's name we pray. Take care today, my friends. God bless you all.